Over the past 10 years, I've spent nearly $2,000 on a rented modem. Don't do that. But first, welcome to Extra Techie, where we learn to tech and tech to learn. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Now get ready, because we're gonna learn a little bit about owning our own modem. Since 2012, I've been an Xfinity subscriber. This included a cable TV package, internet at one gig, and telephone. What the heck is that? Well, life happened and it was time to scale back a bit as we were trying to reevaluate our needs. And to be completely honest, we were spending $300 a month on average for the past 10 years. So to make a long story short, we cut our cable and phone package, but kept the internet. And this is where our lesson begins. First, get an idea of the actual speeds you are getting. For example, I pay for one gigabit per second, but in reality, I never really got internet speeds faster than 650 to 800 megabits per second. So I wanted an internet plan that was closer to the actual speeds at my house. There are a couple tools to use to test this, such as Google search speed test, download Wi-Fi man to your smartphone, or just use fast.com. Using different tools will get you a decent idea of your internet speed. Knowing your internet speed will help you negotiate when you talk to the sales rep. Next, research compatible modems for your service, whether it is Xfinity or Fios. They will recommend the latest and greatest machines, but that is unnecessary. Focus on what you need. What speeds are you getting? Do you need it to have Wi-Fi? In my case, I have a Google Wi-Fi mesh system that creates the backbone to my network. The Xfinity modem all in one box would feed the internet to my mesh network, but I hardly use the Xfinity boxes capabilities. So I did not need a new modem with wireless capabilities. You might, so you may pay more upfront. For me though, it costs $65 for my modem. It is rated up to one gigabit per second. It's linked below for reference. Finally, purchase your equipment and make the phone call. It took me 30 minutes to activate my new modem. Ask for tech support and explain you want to activate your own machine. They will ask for the MAC address of the machine, the serial number, and the make and model. Make sure you use the phonetic alphabet to accurately relay the correct information. All of that information is usually located on the bottom of the modem. You will lose your internet connection as you remove your old modem and replace it with the new modem. Expect this part to be 15 to 20 minutes. The new modem will likely restart a few times before the internet stabilizes again. When all is said and done, we're paying $70 a month for 800 megabit internet, but please keep this in mind that there is a 12 month promotional rate. We're automatically enrolled in bill pay and we're mobile subscribers to Xfinity Mobile. So your rate may vary, but don't worry. As long as you're saving money, you're winning the game. So let's do it together. I hope this was helpful, and as I said before, it's not exactly a step-by-step -step guide, but more so of a general advisory on what to do. Your situation may vary, but feel free to drop a question below, and I'll try my best to answer it. Was this video everything you wanted it to be? I hope so. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Become the nerd that you always wanted to be. Let's do this together. We'll see you next time, nerds.